to Israelites. God says, now, now that you know that you're Israel, because we knew we was Israel back in these days, this happened to us and now we don't. We were given proverbs and bywords on us, different names, right? Well, if I asked you what your nationality was, you wouldn't tell me I'm from the tribe of Judah, I'm from the tribe of Benjamin, I'm from the tribe of Levi. You wouldn't tell me that, would you? You would say I'm African American. What we're about to do is explain why the curses are extremely important for knowing who the children of Israel are. Read it out. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 37. Read it out. And thou shalt become an astonishment. You shall become an astonishment, okay? What is an astonishment? When you're astonished, you're surprised. Our people are very surprising because in one good way, they look at us as superhuman. We jump the highest, we run the fastest. We think the sharpest, we did things that other nations wouldn't dream of inventing in a thousand years. We Yo. did it in chains. We did it with no resources. They gave us scraps and we were so astonishing that we were able to invent some of the greatest inventions. If you look up Yo. inventions during slavery, you will be astonished. Why? Because the children of Israel are an astonishment. Read. A proverb and a byword. A proverb and a byword. The children of Israel, this is talking about, would become names other than their God-given names. Right. The children of, let me ask you about your people then. Your people, right? Were they renamed? Did they have other names given to them? Yeah. Like what? Name a couple of them. My nickname, Tito, they gave me a name. Tito, I'm talking about nationality-wise, not on an individual. No? So. Yeah, I got, um, my, my um, background kind of diverse. I got, I got, um, like on my dad's side, my, my grandmother full Mexican. She okay. Mexican. So guess what? You see this side right here? The so-called Hispanics, they fit these curses too. Right. Because they're Israelites just like we are. Right. Read that part again. A proverb and a byword. Right. Because my people, my people, they're called black. But guess what? According to the Bible, they're from the tribe of Judah. That's right. The Bible describes the tribes. It describes where they would be at, what conditions they would be in. It drops clues. And we'll go through it today if you stop and listen, all right? Go to what you hold up. Because guess what? You said your background is diverse, right? Yeah. The officer eloquently explained earlier that according to the Bible, there's no such thing as mixed. Now, you might get different physical traits, but guess what? The Bible says, read, watch this. Check this out. You're going to like this. Numbers chapter 1 and verse 18. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. Mm -hmm. And they declared their pedigrees. A pedigree is what? A bloodline, exactly, brother. Right. A type, right? So what type of people? How do you get the type of people? How do you how do you derive the pedigree, the bloodline, the type? Read. After their families, by the house of their fathers. You heard that? By the house of your fathers. Right. Right? Because a man, his sexual organs is what? He carries the seeds. He no. deposits the seeds in the woman. Right. Your brother explained earlier, before you walked up, that if you plant an apple seed in any different place, it's still going to grow up as an apple seed. Right. Because of what the seed was. Your father was a, a what? Do you see your father's nationality on this uh, right side where these slave names are given to us? African black... African American, American blacks, that was given to us when? In the 80s. Right. That's why I asked you, were your people renamed? Because we were reading in the curses of Deuteronomy. Guess what? That the children of Israel would have different names by words given to them. Right. See? Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 37. And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb and a byword among all nations, whether the Lord shall lead thee. The Lord led us into a lot of different places because you say you're the original man. Give me Galatians chapter 4 verse 26. You said you were the original man, right? We're reading out of the Bible things about the Israelites. Now, we can read that the Israelites, God has favoritism towards them. But guess what? Original man, I don't really read that in the Bible. We read about Adam. Uh, uh, you, you don't. Yeah. Bring it out! Galatians chapter 4 and verse 26. Bring it out! Guess what? According to the Bible, where are the Israelites from? From Africa? What part of Africa? Right there. Um, you, you, you right want it? What, what right you got? There, um, uh, case, specific country. 
Ethiopia. Near Ethiopia? Let's see what the Bible says. Read. Galatians chapter 4, verse 26. Bring it out. But Jerusalem, which is above, is free. Jerusalem is above Africa. It's on it pretty much, the continent. But Jerusalem, read. Which is above is free. Northern Africa, it's above, read. Which is the mother of us all. Jerusalem is the mother of the Israelites. That's, That's right. right. That's where humanity began. What? Now go back to Deuteronomy 28. Give me verse uh, 46. Now, I, I explained to you that the curses are important for one specific reason. What do the curses in the book of Deuteronomy 28 tell us about God's people? The up. Israelites. What's going on, sisters? Y'all got a moment to listen? Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 46. Bring it out. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. These curses would be upon you, the Israelites, for a sign. Right. What does a sign do? What does a sign tell you? A sign tells you what something is, right. where right. it is. How to identify it. Right. Right. These curses would be on the Israelites for a sign. Read. And for a wonder. And for a wonder. Brother, as we read these curses, you're going to know who the Israelites are. You're not going to wonder anymore. But guess what? These signs are wondrous. One reason is they're wondrous is because they're very specific. Right. As we go through these curses, you're going to notice this didn't happen to everybody. Right. These curses didn't happen to the Chinese to the so-called white man. They happen to these people on this side. Right. And the descendants of these people on this side. Sisters, what is your nationality? The Israelites would lose their nationality for different words. I can name 10 different words for African-American. Negro, out. nigger, color, porch monkey. The so-called Hispanics, they got all types of derogatory names. They got proverbs and bywords. But guess what? These curses are a sign. That's right. Bring it out. And for a wonder. Read. And upon thy seed forever. Seed. We're talking about bloodline. The bloodline Israelites. Because guess what? There's no such thing as spiritual Israelites. Sister? Sister, what's your name? What's going on? You know what we're out here doing? Yeah, I know what y'all out here doing. What are we out here doing? I'm trying to call everybody back home. Everybody? No, we're here to call the Israelites back home. All right, all right. Do you know who the Israelites are, though? I say everybody. Yeah, we're the Israelites. Okay. So... If we're the Israelites, what are we supposed to be doing? Brother, this is where it gets very, very critical for you. This is about what we need to do, right? You know what I want, Deuteronomy 10 to 12. What are we supposed to be doing? You know you're Israel, right? You, have you been finding out that you're Israelite so far? There's more specifics too. There's more curses. What are we supposed to do, brother, sister? What are we supposed to do, sis? Sis. Come on, man. Sister, yes, sir. what are we supposed to be doing if we know that we're Israel? Abiding by the laws that God has us. Really? So she knows that. We're going to get some laws, okay? She going to stick around. She going to get cut by the scriptures. Because guess what? She knows what she's supposed to be doing. But now we're going to read it out of the Bible for you. Because we're going to prove it. Read. Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. Let's deal with the brother. Uh, 10 and 12. Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse 12. And now Israel, what doeth the Lord thy God require of thee? You Israelites, God says now, now that you know that you're Israel, because we knew we was Israel back in these days. What? This happened to us and now we don't. We were given proverbs and bywords on us, different names, right? Well, if I asked you what your nationality was, you wouldn't tell me I'm from the tribe of Judah. I'm from the tribe of Benjamin. I'm from the tribe of Levi. You wouldn't tell me that, would you? You would say I'm African-American or original man, which is very generic. We're reading about the Israelites in the Bible. This is our history, right? God says that we need to keep the commandments, because guess what? What put us into this predicament? 2815. What put us into this predicament? Do you remember? Because we read it earlier, right? Deuteronomy 28, the curses. What got the curses put on us? Why? Huh? Disobeying God, right? Let's read it one more time to refresh everybody's memory, right? Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15. Read out. But it shall come to pass, if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. You, me, we did not listen to God's commandments. Back then, back way before this happened, back in Moses' days, we kept breaking God's commandments over and over again. Read We're out. breaking some right now. You want me to give you one? Abraham was pretty righteous, bro. 
Abraham was God's friend. But guess right. what? Yeah, Ishmael. Yeah, Ishmael. Um, when God told him not to, yeah, when they had another baby, and that's for the Islam whole thing. Islam. So you know that the Israelites are the Arabs. So told, you know that. He told God. God so God, let me Abraham, let me. They're gonna be part of many nations. Let me ask you something. If you know that the Arabs are the Ishmaelites according to the Bible, and that we, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, are the Israelites, what are our people doing? 26 and 1. Hold that. What are our people doing in that religion? No, are we in that religion if that religion was invented by Ishmaelites for Ishmaelites? In 600 AD, about 522, right? Why are we in that religion then? 622 AD, excuse me. Read that. Watch the watch what the God of Abraham, right? Because they believe that too. Watch what he said. Read. Leviticus chapter 26 and verse 1. Read out. Ye shall make you no idols, nor a graven image. Neither wear you up a standing image, neither shall ye set up any image of stone in your land. An image of stone is in Mecca. Right. Our people, the Israelites, go commit idolatry by bowing unto it. Give me hey. what you was holding. 21 and 5. Guess what? That's a law, and now I'm about to give you a law that you can keep right now. You can go home and apply this, what I'm about to read to you, bro. Read. Leviticus chapter 21 and verse 5. Hey, you don't want to be an idolater, do you? You do want to be an <laughs> yeah, idolater? Yeah, read this. Watch this. You need to apply this law, bro. Read. Leviticus chapter 21 and verse 5. Hey, they shall not make boldness upon their head. We are not supposed to be shaving our head bald. God told us that. Guess what? There's another part of the scripture. Read on. Neither shall they shave off the corners of their beard. You shaving off the corners of your beard and I can see it, bro. The natural, guess what though? God said not to do that. Our people were taught that's clean though. That's clean shaving. It's clean for the black man to destroy his beard off. Guess what? God said it's unclean. Right. That's effeminate, bro. Read. Uh, 19, set, uh, 27. Leviticus. But, excuse me, my bad. So, do you understand? You got your Bible? So guess what? I'm about to bring out straight laws for our people to wake up and repent. Right. Because right. guess what? Christ came back to save the repentant. Right. He came back to save those who need to keep the commandments. Right. Who are keeping the commandments. That's right. right. You're going to find that out today, bro. Read. Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 27. You shall not roll the corners of your head, neither shall thou mow the corners of thy beard. The, bar, the edges of your beard, the corners of your beard have been marred. Marred means to destroy, right? Yeah. I'm not making a personal attack on you, am I? I'm explaining to you that according to God, that's something we're supposed to do. So you gonna go keep that law, bro? Are you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans? Or descendants of those people? You Israelites going to wake up? I appreciate you, brother, but guess what? God needs you to keep his commandments. You gonna keep that law? You gonna check that flyer up? Look at the back of that flyer. Look at the back of that flyer, look. The back of that flyer got the address and the phone number on it, right? So guess what? We got a phone number. We're available to you. The website is available to you. You can wake up. You can learn more right now. What's going on, brother? You you wondering what we're out here doing with this microphone, aren't you? Isaiah 58 what? You wondering what we doing? What? I don't know what that is. Anyway. I'll teach you what that is. See, the brother thinks that we need to be taught by some knowledge outside of the Bible. He is so mistaken. Let me show the brother what we're out here to do. The that we are out here to show our people. Guess what? We love our people. We're not afraid to show our people the love that God commanded us to show our people love. Read Isaiah chapter 58 and verse 1. God is going to tell us what we are coming out here to do. Read. Cry aloud. God tells us to cry aloud. That's why we are not cowering behind some computer screen. We've come out here on the streets alive to teach you what you need to know according to God. That's Please. right! Spare not! God says we're not going to spare your feelings. Because guess what? God tells us to not care whether or not we hurt your feelings. Because guess what? The fire is going to hurt your feelings when it burns you. That's right! We need to repent. We need to keep God's commandments right now. Right. What's going on, brother? Don't be afraid. We're just yelling. But guess what? God tells us to yell. You know where? Isaiah 58 and 1. Read it again. 
Isaiah chapter 58 and verse 1. Check it out. Cry aloud. Spare not. Read. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Is that not what we're doing right now? He got mad about it, but guess what? God said, don't spare his feelings. That's Read. right. And show my people their transgressions. Our people have many transgressions. What is a transgression? Hold that. Give me sin. What is a transgression? What transgressions is God telling us that we need to acknowledge? What did we transgress? What did he give us? Life. He gave us life? I like that answer, but it's a little bit broad. Let's see if we can narrow it down. Read. First John chapter 3 and verse 4. Read. Whosoever committed sin transgresses also the law. God told us to bring to remembrance or acknowledgement the transgressions of the laws that he gave us. Right, right. He gave us laws about our dress code, how we're supposed to dress. He gave us laws about how we're supposed to take care of our families. Right. We're supposed to teach our families. Do you have children? Who out here has children? Do you? You got kids? You tell me? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm dealing with you, brother. We out here for you. We out here to come and show you these transgressions that we have done. We right. Have Let's start with one. I'm gonna give you a law, right? I'm gonna give you a law of God, and these children of Israel are notorious for breaking them, okay? Right Let's out. see if you can keep this one. You know what I want. Read. First Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 3. Bring it out. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. The leader, the head of Christ. Excuse me, read that again. First Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 3. Bring it out. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. You're a man, right? I'm a man, right? So our head is who? Christ. So guess what? Now it's going to tell us something that we have to do. Let's see if we can be obedient to God and stop transgressing and do it. Right. And the head of the woman is the man. A lot of women is going to die because, guess what? God ain't dealing with women who don't follow this order. And right. he's also not dealing with the men that don't follow that order. Guess what? The order is, so far what we have is man, right? Christ, man, woman. Read. And the head of Christ is God. So now we have the order established by God himself in his book. God, Christ, man, woman. You, you understand that? You follow so far? Read. But every, but, excuse me, every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonoreth his head. So praying or prophesying goes into praying or the prophecy. The spirit of prophecy is this Bible. Because guess what? Every word in this book is, comes from God, bro. He gave it to the prophets to write down and record. Do you believe that? You believe in the Bible. So guess what? The Bible told us that when the scriptures are coming out, that a man's head is supposed to be what? Covered. Covered? Read again. Read again. First Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 4. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonoreth his head. Guess what? You shouldn't. So guess what? Is your head covered right now when the scriptures are coming out? So what you gonna do? Thank you, brother, because guess what? I gotta go Next now. Three, you, you gotta go? Yeah, go ahead, you got a flyer? Uh, uh, you got a flyer? Yeah, I got one. Okay, so turn that go flyer ahead. over the back of it. Acts 3, you know the one. That flyer has our phone number, our website, all right? Go learn more. There's more laws. I gave you one. You gotta go, but guess what? You got a smartphone on you, right? You can hit up the website, hit up the YouTube channels. Learn more laws that you need to keep, because watch this, what the scripture's gonna tell us. There's a lot we gotta do, bro. There's something specific we gotta do. It starts with an R. Read. Acts chapter three and verse 19. Bring it out. Repent ye therefore and be converted. God tells us, Acts 19 and seven, that we are supposed to be repenting. We have to be repenting. Right. God tells us, please repent. Israelites, you Israelites, you must keep commandments of God. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, 
Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.